I wanted to say a number of people have called me out in the lack of, of leadership around this because um, clearly it is an incredibly important issue in our community. Mm -hmm. And um, so one of the things I want to say is um, to express my continued support for the LGBTQ plus community in Huntsville. I have always been supportive, will continue to be supportive, and very excited about the project that Councillors Morrison and, Cal and Renwick are working on that we're sort of informally referring to as Unity Square. Mm -hmm. And I know that they are consulting widely about what that looks like and when it should roll out and where it should roll out. And my guess is after last week, if they, weren't in, if they didn't have a youth um, uh, piece to, to that consultation, they certainly will now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will be supportive of that. So I, I think it is important, um, as I said, a number of people who I actually I really admire and respect called me out and said um, they felt it was important that I say something, mm -hmm. and that's what I intend to do at Council tonight. If I can quickly ask you a question on this too, because there was a concern from some members of the community that uh, Councillor Scott Morrison and Helena Renwick had uh, attended this and took a side um, based on you know what was happening, from your view, is that something that that they are able to do as counselors? Absolutely, I think that you know I think it's important. This is what this is what makes a democracy tick, mm -hmm. right? And for all of the things I I um, where my views are, we all don't agree, no question. And mm -hmm. I will preface this because it makes it sound like I endorse all kinds of vitriol. I don't. I hate hate. I don't like it when people are angry mm. and people pro are provocative. So I, I, I don't endorse hate speech, obviously, but a fundamental element of a democracy is that we all get to say what we believe in. Yes. And um, for all intents and purposes, the protest that um, went out on, on Wednesday, um, it was a, a, a peaceful protest. Again, I, I will reiterate, I am a massive supporter, always have, of the LGBTQ community, and I think it's absolutely critical that they feel they have safe spaces. Mm -hmm. So um, I go back to your question. Um, I think it was very important for Councillors Morrison and Renwick to speak out, and I, it's not my place to tell them what, where they, and where they can't. Mm -hmm. um, be be involved, be engaged with their community. Of course. Right? Yeah. And that's, we all do that to some extent. Yeah. I was asked to speak at um, a Watershed Council kickoff last week. And that's one part of our community. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm a person that believes that climate change is happening and, and that it's man-made. Mm -hmm. So I, that's for me, I, I, I'm out there doing that. It's not as contentious as the other. It depends on what circle you're in. But um, I think it's important that we, we, we speak out. That's why people elected us. 